This is Otaku No Video for July 18th, 2008. Who cares about tracing? Let's start with this story about、uh, Takahata.、Um, and for those not aware, Takahata is、uh, one of the, the big names at Studio Ghibli. He worked on Grave of the Fireflies, Pompoko, My Name is the Yamadas. And、um, the, the head of Ghibli recently、uh, announced that he is definitely working on a, a, another film.、Uh, they'd announced a little while back that he and Hayao and Goro Miyazaki were all working on films, and so this is the yes, it's still going on, yes, we're planning on, on completing these, you know, yes, there are cells being drawn.、Um, and in addition, they also said that, that, that Ghibli is planning on, on promoting one of their head animators to a director soon. That, that means four directors th- there at one time. Whereas at one, point it was basically,、uh, well, at one point it was basically Miyazaki, and Takahata had been doing stuff, but he was co- sort of coming in and out.、Um, and they certainly broadened their horizons. And so Ghibli's looking a lot more like Pixar these days,、uh, in terms of having several、um, directors sort of cycling uh, uh, direct,、um, directing duties, which I think is important for, for them where they are now. I mean, that's, that's, an, that's a,、uh, a, a big spot. Um, I mean, what do you guys think of this move? What do you think this, this presages? Why do you think they're doing this? I, I, actually, before we get, I have a quick question because I'm curious about something. Is, is Takahata sick or something? Because they keep talking about him being in good spirits, which is usually what you say when someone is ill. Is, is it just that he hasn't made anything in a while and he's in good spirits that his film isn't sucking? Or, or what is? What's going well, on? Well, I think it's also that he made Grave of the Fireflies, so everyone assumes that he's you know, depressed all the time. <laughs> So he's fine. There's nothing, there's nothing that I'm missing. I, I haven't heard anything, and, and everything that I've seen of him shows him looking perfectly you know, virile and healthy. Okay, good. Then, then let's move on. I, I, I was a little confused by that, so. Yeah, yeah. No, and I think it's a, it's a, it's a, good, um, uh, it's a good thing for them. I think they're, you know, they're definitely doing, doing things that they need to be where they are. I remember hearing Miyazaki say that.、Um, One of the problems with building a studio like this is you have a lot of mouths to feed. So you have to just keep on bringing in more work and more, and, and you've got to think up animations to do and projects, and you've got to get in clients and stuff because if you don't, then you start laying people off, and it's,、mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a bad place to be. Yeah, I think, it's a, I think it's good to have a, a stable of directors that are working. I mean, the Pixar model has been extremely successful and in that they have not managed to produce a bad film since, I don't know. Bugs Life, and even that's bad on, on a different level than most things are bad. It's, it's still a decently made film, and I just don't like it. But, you know, so they've mad, managed to make what, like six or seven consistently good to great films yeah. Yeah. by rotating their directors like that. So I think it's good to have a, a good, healthy,、um, creative kind of like team and group within your organization, especially when your,、mm. your head guy is going to go pretty soon. I mean,、mm. Hayao's not going to be there forever. So, the best thing you can do is get some people working with Hayao. Yeah. And, and hope that they kind of pick it up and keep the Ghibli spirit going. So, I think this is a really, a really smart idea that they have、yeah. these directors working right now. And just to be sort of gossip columnist for a moment, I wonder if they aren't looking at Hayao's recent, you know, Hayao's ability to work and realizing, you know, we, do have, we are hitting a limit here in terms of, I, mean, I don't know how fast he's doing things, I don't know what it is, but I, I wonder if. Maybe recently it's become you know, just increasingly clear that, yeah, we have to, to、uh, prepare for that day. And there's only so long that someone can talk about retiring before they actually stop working.、Yeah. So maybe, there, maybe it's getting to the point where it's like, okay, well, he's probably actually going to either fall over or retire soon. So, <laughs> so let's give him the chance to, to, to step aside without killing the company in the process. Yeah. And what a ride. I mean, you know, most folks, I think. Don't know that Miyazaki worked in the anime industry since the 60s. I mean, he's, he's literally been animating you know, for, for decades before he even、um, you know, hit the, the mainstream, so to speak, with Yun Lupin, much less you know, the, the movies. So, I mean, yeah, he, he's, he's definitely put in his time, and it's not like you know, he, he hit his stride and now he's sort of、um, you know, waning. It's like, no, he's, he's old, frankly. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So, another interesting little、uh, tidbit going on there's, there's been a couple controversies lately about manga artists、uh, tracing、uh, photographs. 
and this has happened uh, a couple of times recently. I think someone was tracing slam dunk artwork. Was that right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and th- there's this boys love manga artist, Yoka Nita, who is revealed to have traced a lot of like photographs from fashion magazines for her, her manga. And, I mean... I can understand using photographs as a reference. This is pretty darn... I mean, this is this is impressive. This is very close, uh, very direct um, stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the picture right now, and I have to say, she's a very good tracer. If I traced, it would not look that good. Yeah. So so kudos to you for some excellent tracing shading work, mm-hmm. and um, good line thickness on your trace as well. Agreed. I mean, it's, it's, it's very good. And... Um, I mean, like I say, I can I, I can understand using reference and such, but this is and and it's not like just one photo. It's like multiple ones all through, and it's for key sequences in the manga and so forth. By the way, I think the thing with uh, with Slam Dunk was some other basketball manga was ripping off of Slam. Dunk. I think you're right. I think yeah. that's what it was. Yeah, they, they were copying panels from from Slam Dunk. Um, <laughs> Which is smart. Clearly you can't notice. <laughs> yeah. that, that's actually worse than tracing photographs that are unrelated, I think. At least at least tracing photographs that are unrelated, you're not, like, stealing from your own medium. Oh, but, I agree. Like, <laughs> well, I just find it funny. It, it's, you know, it's one thing to steal from something unknown, but it's kind of like, I'm going to steal from Wally. <laughs> you know, no yeah. one's going to see that. I, this is actually interesting. i, I got to wonder, how did people realize that she was tracing photographs from fashion magazines. I mean, mm-hmm. are there? this happens all the time, and I really got to wonder, who are the people flipping around through magazines and holding them up to their manga to see, <laughs> did you trace this? I'm not yeah. trying to excuse her, her work at all, but who catches them at this? <laughs> How did this come up? Well, and that's kind of the scary thing, is you know, there must be so much stuff she's traced that enough people have, have looked through fashion magazines and said, that looks familiar. <laughs> you know, I think that's from and go back and, oh my gosh, you know. If you're going to trace, can you not trace for Yowie, please? <laughs> but I, I don't know why everybody's so... It sounds like everybody's so steamed about this. She deleted her website and blog. And you know what? I feel like it's sort of a so what. Like, <laughs> I mean, so what that they, you know, they stole this from somewhere else. If they if they present it, if the artist or creator has presented it in such a way that it, it gets across another message, well, it might as well not even be the same material. And, yeah, I, I guess I just feel like this is a little extreme, and maybe this is to prevent fan backlash, which I imagine mm. is a pretty large amount of her deleting her website and stuff like that. But it's sort of sad to think that, well, to think to think that there's a group of people who are into anime that think that anime is this really, really, really unique thing, and that it's... I, I guess I, I guess I'm getting that tension. Mm. Can, can I I'm really? I need to feel like we need to, to go here for a second. But um, so, is it really copyright infringement to trace a photograph? Well, that's what, that's, that's interesting to me. Well, that's what the the, the, the publisher is claiming that 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 that, that she's taking you know existing photographic work and essentially representing it so closely that it is essentially copyright infringement. I don't. I don't know that that's... Well, and of course, I don't know Japanese copyright law. Well, the Japanese copyright law, you can use people's character designs and tentacle rape them, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and I don't know what weird... And, and, of course, I'm sure they've been updating their law, too. I, I think it's illegal. It is. For, um... Yeah. They, they've... It probably is to take mm. something... Well, what they're... What they would argue for in court, I think, mm. would be... 